Hello and well done on showing your teacher what you know in your pretest. This week we're going to be looking at quarters and thirds. Let's get straight in. Now, quarters is also known as fourths, particularly in America. Here is the word quarters. Here is the fraction and the strategy we use out to find the answer to quarters is dividing by four. Now, if I have 28 sheep in a paddock and I need to find a quarter of those sheep to give to one of my farmer friends, how in the world am I going to work it out? Hmm, a quarter of 28. Well, we know that 28 divided by four is a part of a fact family. So four multiplied by what equals 28? Hmm, that's right, the answer is seven. And we can check our answer, seven multiplied by four equals 28. Therefore, a quarter of 28 equals seven. The farmer, friend of mine, will get seven sheep. That is a quarter. Now, time for thirds. Here is the word thirds. Here is the fraction. And the strategy we use is dividing by three. Now, a dad comes home with a bag of lollies. There's 15 sweet lollies, big ones in there. He throws the bag on the table and says, you each can have one third. You and your two friends look at each other. You get a third each. Hang on. What is a third? Well, one third of 15. We just need to think about what we already know. 15 divided by three. Three times what equals 15? Three times five is 15 or five times three equals 15. We've checked our answer, we know we're confident. So we can say, hey, a third of 15 is five. I get five sweet lollies. <laughs> now kids, it's your turn to work out quarters and thirds. Remember to use your strategies that you already know.